Hello, I have got a very lovely story that I'd like to share with you all today. And I like to read this story at this time of year because it's very important and you can talk with your teacher or with your grown-ups afterwards about why it's important. The story is called Where the Poppies Now Grow. And you can see the picture on the front. So let's have a look at the story. This is the field where the poppies now grow. Look at that sky. Goodness. Hmm. <laughs> And these are the children who like to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. Can you see them charging along? Look at the dog. <laughs> this is Ben and his best friend, Ray, who are two of the children that like to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. And can you see that they planted a tree. Can you see that? Can you see the tree they've planted there? And they've written the date of when they've planted it as well. Can you see the date? Oh, that's a good thing to do. These are the trenches used for cover to hide from the enemy and each other, built by Ben and his best friend Ray, who are two of the children that like to play out in the fields where the poppies now grow. And this, well, this is the makeshift aerodrome with barricades of sand and stone that shield the trenches used for cover to hide from the enemy and each other, built by Ben and his best friend Ray, who are two of the children that like to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. These are the armies joined up by men, men like Ray and his old friend Ben, who march by the makeshift aerodrome with barricades of sand and stone that shield the trenches used for cover to hide from the enemy and each other, built by Ben and his best friend Ray, who were two of the children that liked to play out on the field where the poppies now grow. You see they're grown up now. There they are. And they're going off. There's the sergeant there and they're going off to war. This is the battlefield. Baron and Stark, a stage for war, dangerous and dark, to be charged by armies joined up by men. Men like Ray and his old friend Ben, who marched by the makeshift aerodrome with barricades of sand and stone to shield the trenches used for cover to hide from the enemy and each other, built by Ben and his best friend Ray, who were two of the children that liked to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. Can you see that he's carrying him? He's got hurt and he's carrying him. He says, come on, we can make this. We'll get back together, it'll be fine. You see that they're in the hospital now, little makeshift hospital. Ben was the soldier Ray found, lying alone on the battleground. Ray was the soldier, bold and brave, who risked his life in order to save another soldier, injured and hurt, left to die in the cold and the dirt, out on the battlefield, barren and stark, that staged a war, dangerous and dark. Charged on by armies, joined up by men, men like Ray and his old friend Ben, who marched by the makeshift aerodrome with barricades of sand and stone that shielded the trenches used for cover to hide from the enemy and each other, built by Ben and his best friend Ray, who are two of the children that like to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. And can you see the poppies? But who are those two old gentlemen? Yeah, you've guessed it. 
It's Ben and Ray. They're old men now. And look at their tree. Can you see the tree that they planted all of those years ago when they were little boys? And it's grown into a great big fine tree now. And they've got the sign on it telling them that it was planted all those years ago. And look at all the poppies, all the poppies that are all over the grass, reminding them of this day. Can you see their medals that they're wearing on their chest? Their medals for being brave soldiers in the war. Can you see the dog? <laughs> I like this picture, very beautiful. How does it make you feel? And what do you think of when you see that picture? There's just one more thing from this story that I want to share with you. And it starts at the beginning of the book. And you might have heard these words. And it says, At the going down of the sun and in the morning, and then you go to the back and it says, We will remember them. And Poppy Day or Remembrance Day is all about remembering brave people who have fought in wars to help us to be free. You can see the picture there. So that is the first of my very lovely stories. I rather like that one. Can you see my poppies in the background? I like poppies, they're my favourite thing. So my second story is has the same people in it but an extra person that we didn't meet in this story so we still have Ben and Ray but we have somebody else as well we have somebody called Lily Peace Lily let's see what this story holds now there's two pictures of Lily Lily as a little girl and then Lily as a grown-up. Can you see what job Lily does? Can you see? Yep. That's right. She's a nurse. I wonder where she is a nurse. Let's see. Peace Lily. The November frost was biting the day Lily was born. Can you see there? She's just a baby. The world was calm and all was still, that icy, misty morn. Taking her name from a flower her father had seen by the lane, you'll light up the dark, he said to her, and bring hope to a world in pain. Lily played with friends Ray and Ben, there they are. <laughs> They're playing by the stream, that was such good fun. They picked on apples and cheese, yum yum. They paddled in brooks and ran in the woods and hid in the old willow tree. Can you see there, in the tree. <laughs> good fun. It's Lily, it's me, Lily would sing when she found the boys in the dell. They'd listen to larks and gather wild fruit and play in the old water well. It's been a marvellous time, but look at the grey sky. What's that telling you? What's the grey sky telling you is going to happen in the story? Nothing. Not so good. But dark clouds were coming. The dark clouds of war were looming and the boys became men and joined the ranks. You can see them there being tested to see if they were healthy enough sold to be soldiers. And they both passed and they were, here they are, look, dressed in his uniform, going off to war. Their childhood was gone. The days now dawned of battlefields, weapons and tanks. There they go, all marching off to war you see? Lily watched as her friends marched on foot to fight in lands far away and weekly she sent them a letter of hope. It's Lily, it's me, she would say. You can see her letter there and she's written her letter. 
she's drawn a picture of herself on it as well to remind them of home in those days the soldiers liked to get letters to remind them of home because they missed being at home sad that her friends had departed and seeing signs that said you make nursing your war job help the troops she's sitting there and she's thinking oh that's something i could do and so she did lily joined the war effort too and became a nurse she's in her uniform lily arrived at the battlefield to nurse in a hospital tent a place for emergency medical need where the wounded were all sent you see him being sent there on the stretcher oh, hurt his leg hurt something off he goes and the nurses look after them and make them better then one night when all appeared calm commotion broke out in the bay a soldier arrived so badly hurt the padre was called in to pray and you can see there there's the padre the padre is like a a sort of a priest or a vicar and that would pray and pray that he would get better they were worried that he wasn't going to make it they were very scared Let's see what happens lily looked and then looked again at the soldier brought in by the men <laughs> injured and in a deep sleep lily cried it's ben my village friend ben look there's ben night after night she said to herself i'll make you better you'll see and then at dawn a skylarks awoke she sang ben it's lily it's me and he woke up and he started to get better again and look who's there <laughs> it's ray <laughs> well back home with care ben recovered and in time, his friends returned too. While guns and weapons fell silent in the fields where poppies then grew. The November frost was sparkling the day a new world was born. And on here, it says, on the 11th hour of the 11th day, of the 11th month in 1918 the guns across Europe fell silent and that meant that the war had stopped. For Ray and Ben and Lily at last there was peace that beautiful morn. There they are. He's got crutches because he's lost part of his leg poor thing and Lily's there and Ray is there. But look at this. This is really nice. Look, he got married. Oh, everyone was happy. And here are their photographs. I like this page. There are their photographs that shows their wedding and it shows their children that they had and lots of lovely pictures. And that's them today. <laughs> And so these lovely stories, these two lovely stories, Peace Lily and Where the Poppies Now Grow, are stories that I like to read every year to children to remind them and to 